Hello, welcome back to the Week in 7 Questions and welcome to our guest of the week, Constanze Stelzenmüller. Constanze, what's it like as a legal alien in Trumpland in the times of Corona? Well, you know, I feel privileged in that I'm healthy, knock on wood, and have a job that I can do from home, sort of. But I'm really deeply worried about my DC neighborhood, about the city, and not to mention the future of this country and ours in Europe. Nearly 100,000 dead and the highest jobless rate since the Great Depression will exact a really terrible political price here. Now, do you think Trump is underestimating his opponent Biden, a DC politics veteran who knows how to play the game pretty well? Well, you know, POTUS has the political instincts of a great white shark, but I suspect he may fail over the disastrous impact of his crisis management. Um, Biden, on the other hand, is a decent and experienced professional, but does he have flaws and weaknesses? Of course he does. This, I'm afraid, is too early to call. So what would Biden, if elected, really change about America's global policies? I think Biden would seek greater global cooperation, and I'm pretty sure he would have more respect for allies. But, you know, the next president will inherit a country ravaged by the culture wars and the COVID-19 pandemic, and that will take up most of his bandwidth. The pandemic seems to have fired up autocrats across the globe. Will they win the day? That's such a rolling question. I think democratic and autocratic governments alike have succeeded or failed on the basis of two things, their competence and their trust. That said, three large autocracies are among the worst hit, China, Russia, Brazil. And the populist US president has handed responsibility to the states almost completely. So my answer to your question is no. Now, what does the EU look like from Washington these days? An island of reason? Or are we Europeans still in la-la land about the harsh realities of this world? Darling, you know that's a false binary. Um, but to be serious, it seems to me that much of Europe has woken up to the unique vulnerability of the European project under conditions of great power competition. But acting on that insight together is tough, that said. You know, the last week's news and today's news about the European recovery program does give me a little bit of hope. So does Europe have to choose sides between the US and China? You know, the combination of global interdependence with great power competition means we have challengers and adversaries who are also our suppliers and buyers. That complicates things. And the Trump administration's hostility to the EU is not making things any easier. But, you know, one is a democracy and the other is not. And that, I think, should have consequences for our policies. Now, Constanze, you like movies and the biopic about Angela Merkel is just a question of time. Who should play her and why? Ooh, can we have another conversation about this? But briefly, Tracy Ullman would be perfect. She's played Merkel in comedy skits and she's shown her range and depth with her portrayal of Betty Friedan in Mrs. America, which, by the way, I really urge everyone to see. Thanks, Constanze, and thank you all. And stay tuned for our mystery guest next week.